Welcome back to our Marvel Snap video here on YouTube. Coming at you with some Silver Surfer Destroy today. I've played and featured decks like this on the channel in the past, but Marvel Snap's latest card edition, X-23, really feels like a phenomenal addition to this archetype. X-23 gives us an extra energy on the following turn when she's blown up, which means if we blow her up on turn four, it allows us to play two three energy cards on turn five. And if we blow her up on turn five again, it allows us to play a three energy card plus a four energy card, in this case, Absorbing Man on turn six. Being able to Absorbing Man on that sixth turn of the game means that we can Surfer plus Absorbing Man for absolutely massive power swing that's going to be difficult for our opponent to predict. Past just the Silver Surfer game plan here, we also have the classic disruptive elements, things like Juggernaut and Killmonger, and we get to leverage our latest season pass card, Dakin, as well for another card that has synergy with these three energy destructive things. At any rate, I hope you enjoy the games that I have for you today. I think they do an excellent job of showcasing what X-23 brings to the table in this Destroy Surfer archetype. If you do enjoy what you see, snap that like button. Have fun. Yeah, they must not realize we're a surfer deck, huh? Just like, do this, this, call it a day. Actually, they probably play for here, right? Because they're more even here. And then we could win the left. Orca! Our opponent was the one who's a fish, though, chat. They didn't realize what we were doing. All right, if we could find a brood here, we have Forge into Brood into Absorbing Man. And on the off chance, we can peel the Brood. Howard the Duck Kitty Pride. Opponent is baked. Not the brood I wanted for Christmas. I think I'm just crystalling. Oh, it's a hub, Howard. Good call. See if we can win the Great Web 50 50 here. Did. Perfect. Snap. Let's snap them back now. The kitty's like 25, right? Or is it 23? It's 20, it's 23, right? It was 22 and then it pulled up. What if we do this? So this is 24 on the left. Wouldn't have played around Shang Chi. Would have won. Would have won the breaker. The intro video at the start of the Steam release is really, really good. Yeah, I agree. X-23 here, then they get X-23 plus Killmonger next turn. And they have priorities, so we're even catching their Kitty Pride here. This is like literally exactly how we drew it up. You're old, how do drops work? You link your Twitch account to your what's it called account at that link there. Won that coin flip, sick. 
And then uh, you just hang out and watch the stream or others that have drops enabled. You'll collect some free stuff. Some variants and some credits and some avatars and some titles. Okay, so I'm gonna go brood. Actually, I'm gonna go Deathlock. No, I have to go here first, right? I'm gonna go Deathlock into, or brood into Deathlock. And then next turn I have Surfer plus Absorbing Man, because I'm gonna have an extra energy from X23 again. This is, X23 seems really sweet in this deck, chat. Because we get to we get to do this where we have this like solid flow of two three drops on on five into three drop four drop on six. All systems go. Their strategy of making us play into Jean Grey and then kicking us out is something. I don't know what, but it's something. What does this do? This gives us plus nine over here and they have to play their first card here. So it's probably fine. Definitely in for all of it. They're gonna beat us in the center. Not a shot, get out of here. And even if their silk swung in the right direction, we still crunch them. It's approximately how long the stream's been going on for today. Welcome back. Keep this up and I'll be a shillionaire in no time. I don't know that we're gonna do uh, 14 hours every day, but assuming we have at least a little bit of a bump from drop metrics on the other days this week, I'm definitely planning to do longer than the typical five to six hours I've been doing. So X23 on three and you get to play Sarah on four. Yeah, I guess. Like, what am I, like, I'm not, I'm, I don't feel like I need Sarah in a lot of these games. Like, I'm getting to the ends of these games with my hand being empty most of the time. So I'm not really sure what I would be accomplishing by playing Sarah out early. I guess it would let me hold back some of my power, but... Oh yeah, we know they don't have Shadow Kings. So they discarded Max that tells us their full necklace is a good show. I'm gonna crystal after Venom, because I want two, three drops here, I think. Or do I? Yeah, I think I do. And because I don't have Absorbing Man, I wanna I wanna go ahead and crystal here so we could try and get to surf for Absorbing Man. Yeah, they could have rug pulled us here. Maybe I'm supposed to play around that. I don't know. I feel like I need the extra draw to get to Absorbing Man. If I already had the Absorbing Man in hand, I think we play around this game. But because um, they didn't have it in hand, or because I didn't have it in hand, I need to draw to it, I think. Oh, there's no reason to play the Surf here, right? They can only go 12 here. I guess they can go 12, 16 here. That would put them to 26, and I'm only getting 12, but that still beats me. That still beats them, so we do... All right, we just do this, so we can get them right. I think, I think this is a, a decent showing what we have going on, right? Like both of our decks got to like play the exact cards we wanted and we went over the top of them in a longer game. I think the seventh turn is better for us than it is for them on average with a game like this. Opponent snapped. 
my hand good enough to stay for one more cube? Yeah, I think so. If we don't, if we don't win this one, we have to win the next two. But I think that's fine. Yeah, Pokemon Unite's uh, balance on their ladder is not great at the moment. It's definitely the case. That's not terrible. Means I get to go deck and shard into Killmonger. I like, I like Pokemon Unite's core gameplay a lot, but they suffer from the issue a lot of live service games have, which is they just don't balance their game often enough. But you stay on for this long. And, and I know it sounds cheesy to say, because that's what people always tell you, but the real answer is just like, stand like I'm doing at my standing desk to keep energy up and then drink lots of water and eat plenty of food. It's always, always feels like a kind of cliche answer, but it's just like the truth. Yeah, no, no joke, Marvel Snap's, the way Marvel Snap balances their game is basically what I've always wanted out of a live service game in terms of regular balance. And I could, could not be happier if I only have it. Always, I always wanted a game that would just do regular balance passes to keep things not only balanced but also fresh, and Marvel Snap does that perfectly. All right, so we do this, and then I have uh, some combination of stuff for the last turn. How I feel about the PC client? Honestly, I feel like all of the parts of the PC client that are done feel like they're well done. The only the only things I would change about the PC client are finishing polishing up the parts of it that are very clearly not not done yet. There are parts of the PC client that um, are just like the mobile client like embedded. I think we do this just to uh, dominate them here. And then, actually, honestly, if I do this and I dominate them here, I think I just go ahead and go surf for Absorbing Man here and we win the game pretty easily, right? We just lock up, lock up Asgard, and then uh, win Limbo. Well, so, like, one thing I always talk about when it comes to game balance is that I will never fault a game for not getting their balance pass right on the first try. I think... Game design is really hard, and there's so many variables to account for. And that's that's the reason why I think regular iteration of just making sure you're doing constant balance passes on a regular interval is so important because you want you want there to be you want to be able to iterate to get it right. Like, I think, I think expecting perfection on the first pass is nonsense. It may be even the second and third pass, but you have to actually be making those passes to iterate to get your game to a good state. And for anybody that's newer to Marvel Snap, uh, Marvel Snap does a big, a bigger patch per month where they update cards, and then they do a smaller over-the-air updates twice a month on top of that. So there's at least a small amount of card changes three times per month. And a lot of the times, they're minimal. It's like, okay, we're going to push a card up a number by one or down a number by one, just one point of power or one cost, and just slowly push things to see where you end up at. I think that that's, that's really good. This is a really solid clean game for us. We're just like overpowered them by doing our thing better. 